Hello, what's up YouTube? Bronix with it and our tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how to color grade skin tones in first of all Camaro and we are going to later on go into Photoshop to do the final color grading for this particular image. So what you should know about me, I shoot in RAW and this very image was taken using a Canon, my Canon 6D camera and I shot it at ISO 185mm lens at f7.1 because I wanted to get most of the information in this image and I shot it at 1 out of 250th of a second so the very first thing I do when I'm doing my color grading is converting the image in the picture profile I shot it in so if at all you shoot in JPEG don't mind you're going to, you're going to be able to find you like ahead but this is for those that shoot in RAW so come and choose the picture profile that best suits you or the picture profile you shoot in on your camera so for this case I shoot in landscape so I'm just going to come and select landscape and what this does it helps us get to a step whereby we are getting back most of the colors the way we are looking at it at the back of the camera screen when we are doing the shooting process so but this has a disadvantage it makes the image too vibrant or oversaturated so you have to take that into consideration so the next thing I want to do or the next thing I do when I'm doing the color grading is you can notice that the image really looks a little bit to be reddish in color and it has those reddish tint or the magentas and that is an issue with most of the Canon cameras so you have to come and change the tint uh, from the magenta as you can see it already has a tint of 9 so just click right here and move towards the green side to eliminate the magentas from the image so I'm just going to go with around negative 2 but the image is really looking oversaturated so I'm going to come all the way down and I'm going to reduce on the saturation of this image just a little bit to around a negative 5 and I'm also going to do the same for the vibrance just like that so you can see the before and after it is not too much of a difference then I'm going to come back to the basic adjustments and first of all I want to compensate for these highlights that look really harsh just going to come and drag towards the opposite that is negative I'm just going to take it to negative 100 because here I'm getting most of the rich contrast in this image then I'm also going to come to the shadows and slightly pull it up so don't take it all the way up because it is going to be blowing out or making the blacks in the image really gray in color so just don't do just don't overdo that just make it a slight adjustment I think to around 12 can do then I'm also going to uh, knock up my highlights just my whites rather to around 8 then push in my blacks around negative 7 and I'm also going to do the same for my clarity because I want to sharpen the image slightly then I think this is all for the basic adjustment so the next step is going to be going to the HSL panel so basically what is the HSL panel the HSL panel is more of hue for H saturation for S and luminance for L so I'm just going to come all the way down to this panel that I'm talking about so you can see we have HSL right here we have hue, saturation and luminance so we want to get this image looking the best way it can possible so I'm just going to come and come to the luminance option so luminance is more of the lightness or darkness of a, a particular color so I'm just going to come to the oranges remember most of the colors in the skin tones are usually reds and oranges and some little bit of yellows so I'm just going to come and darken the oranges in this model's skin tone so I'm just going to come click and drag towards the left to darken the oranges just like that so don't mind about how the image is looking at the moment so don't just mind about all that so I'm just going to move it to around negative 42 then after doing that I'm going to come to the yellows and simply so let's see what the yellow gives us so you can either brighten or darken the yellows 
So for this case, I'm just going to brighten the yellows a little bit around eight. Then also come to the reds and I'm just going to knock them down slightly to around negative eight. So the next step we are going to be doing is coming to the hues. So what you have to notice under the hues is you have to, every time you move a, a hue towards a, the right hand side, you'll be getting the color below it. So if at all I'm hewing the reds uh, towards the right hand side, I'll be moving the reds towards the oranges. And if I do the same for the oranges, I'll be moving them towards the yellow side. So let me show you guys what I'm trying to mean. I'm just going to click right here on the oranges and move them towards the right hand side. And you can see that the oranges are turning out to look yellow in color. So if at all you move the oranges towards uh, the left hand side, you'll be getting the color on top of uh, the oranges. For example, if at all I do this, you can see that the oranges are turning out to look red in color, which is the color right on top of the oranges in the HSO panel. So basically that is how this works. So what I have to do first of all, I'm going to hue the oranges towards uh, the yellows just a little bit. And don't mind if at all the image is really turning out to look weird. And I'm, I'm also going to hue the, or the reds towards the oranges, just like that. So you can see the before and after for this image. But it is really looking oversaturated. And I understand you may be having so many questions about what I'm doing right now. So the next thing we are going to do for this particular image is coming to the saturation. And under the saturation, that's why we are going to be doing a little bit more of the adjustments. Remember, we have so much over concentration in the orange side of the image. So I'm just going to come in. So the saturation is more of the concentration of a given color. So if at all I move the oranges, it's going to reduce on the oranges in the image. And if at all I move it towards the right hand side, it's going to increase on the intensity of the oranges in the image. So make sure you don't uh, do that. So just reduce on the intensity of the oranges because it was looking really oversaturated. So I think at around negative 17, I think the image is now turning out to look nice and better. Then I'm also going to reduce on the saturation of the reds just a little bit around negative 14. I think that looks fine. So you can see the before and where we are right now. And the image is really turning out to have those really nice and beautiful skin tones. So after we have played around with the HSO panel, we're going to be coming back to this later on. We're going to come all the way down to the calibration panel or the calibration option in uh, camera row. So what I'm going to do, or what I usually do for this case, I prefer to knock down the saturation of the blue primary just up to a point when I think I'm going to go with around negative 15 or 16. And I'm also going to do the same for the green primary and just knock it down a little bit around a negative 8. I think that is fine. Then also for the reds, I'm also going to do that just a little bit uh, for the reds to around negative 2. Then also going to knock up the hues of the red primary towards uh, the oranges, just like that. And let's see what uh, the calibration option has added onto this image. So you can see the before calibration and the after. Before, after it has just kind of muted down the image to look even better. So let's see the overall color grading so far. So you can see the image before and after, before and after. So I feel like the image has so many greens in it. You're just going to come back to the HSL panel and slightly reduce on the saturation of the oranges and uh, the greens in this particular image, just like that. And also going to the hues and also Hew down, hew down rather the greens towards uh, the aquas just a little bit like that. 
then we are going to come all the way back up and you're going to slightly reduce on the vibrance of the image to around negative 14 can do for this image and first of all we want to add a little bit of contrast because this is going to punch up the image even more so i'm just going to come the contrast and just knock it up just like that and you can see that the tones are now getting to look really nice and natural enough so i think at around 20 we have a very nice and beautiful skin tone for this model so you can see the before and after before after but if at all you feel like you have so many greens you can simply come back to the tint and just punch in some little bit of the magentas to around three and i think that looks nice and natural enough before after before after so we are going to go into or open the image into photoshop to do more of the color grading process we're just going to come and hit open to open the image into photoshop and it's going to take don't mind about my previous projects so it is going to take a few seconds and here we are in the magical world of photoshop and the image is really looking nice and beautiful so in photoshop what i basically or what i prefer to do is simply coming to the selective color option to play around with these uh, sliders so I'm just going to come to selective color and you can see right now we have reds yellows and all these colors right here so you can play around with these colors to see what works best for you so i feel like i have so many oranges in my reds i'm just going to slightly reduce on those yellows rather from the reds just a little bit around negative four then i'm also going to come and do the same for my yellows so i can simply add magentas to the yellows and i can simply uh, add some little bit of uh, greens to the yellows so i think i'm just going to punch up as uh, the magentas in my yellows just a little bit to around two and the next thing i prefer to do when i'm color grading a uh, skin tones is coming to uh, this option right here which is the blacks so when you come to the blacks we have this these two tools right here we have yellow and black so we have a black color under the blacks so what i prefer to do is first of all knocking up the blacks of the image to around two i think that is okay and now the next thing i prefer to do is pushing the yellows towards the blacks or this slide at uh, this other side or the left hand side so what that does it gives the image a whole different vibe you can see what it does to this image don't take it all the way up because it is going to be showing too much of that kind of purple color in the image so just do a little bit of that just do something little to around negative seven and don't let these ducks really pop even more so i think this is fine and beautiful so the other thing i would prefer to do in this photoshop interface is coming to the color balance option so i'm just going to come to my color balance right here and play around with these colors even more so i'm going to come to my highlights and add some science to my highlights just like that and you can see that this really adds a whole different vibe or mode to the image so i think that is too much i'm just going to reduce on that and i'm also going to come to my shadows and uh, knock up my blues or intro introduce some little bit of the blues into the shadows of the image so you can see before and after before after so this is all i do for color grading skin tones in photoshop and camera Raw. and if at all you have loved this tutorial don't forget to give this video a like so that youtube can rank it higher and we can get more views on this specific video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time ronix from ronix photography and i'll see you in yet another one and don't forget to keep
creating 